Teacher talk in sports, what it does, what it do, how we live in. Today is the last day of the 2021-22 NBA regular season. So in this video, I'm going to take a look at some of the best fantasy basketball performers who mostly went undrafted and in doing so, I used a website here actually called Hashtag Basketball. So what Hashtag Basketball does, as you can see, a collection of ADP, average draft position data across Yahoo, Fantrax, and ESPN, along with a blended average across all three platforms. So a standard draft is 12 rounds, excuse me, 13 rounds, 12 teams, let's say. So that's 156 players. So this website here shows those averages um with 12 players per round so if we scroll down to the 13th round um on average the 156th player taken was carmelo anthony of the los angeles lakers so this was last update october 25th of last year so right before the season began so I'm going to take a look at guys who fought, fell outside those 156 players. Uh, we're going to call it the all mostly went undrafted teams. I fully understand that some of these guys may have been drafted in your league, depending on um, number of rounds, uh, things like that, uh, number of people in the league. But even if they were drafted, they were drafted late, I'm sure. So again, if they fell outside the first 156 guys, 13 rounds, 12 teams, uh, they were eligible to be included. So let's get into it. Um, in this, I did two rounds of player, excuse me, second team and a first team. So two guards, two forwards, and a center. I wanted to include typical uh, centers um, but to be honest there wasn't many standout centers who were drafted late but these uh the two centers are eligible to play center so let's get into it so just like all nba teams two guards two forwards and a center so the second team for the all mostly went undrafted as you see here monte morris malik monk are your backcourt forwards herbert jones and marcus morris and the center is jared vanderbilt uh let's take a brief look at each of these guys how they performed on the season so starting with mont excuse me mont did i say monte morris monte morris and marcus morris were on the second team so monte morris uh started nearly every game all but one as jamal murray has been out for the entire season uh, excellent assist to turnover ratio 4.4 assists per game to just one turnover uh, doesn't get to the free throw line much which is a shame because he hits them at a high percentage but connected on 1.7 threes per game uh, his 48.4 field goal percentage is very solid for the point guard position uh, the other guard, Malik Monk. Yes, it was a complete struggle for the Lakers this season. But Malik Monk definitely had a career year in his fifth season. Playing um, pretty much career highs across the board. 13.4 points, 3.4 rebounds, 2.9 assists, 0 0.8 steals, 0 0.4 blocks per game. Uh, connected on 2.2 threes a game. 47.1 field goal percentage was also a career high. Uh, so Malik Monk was one of the few rare bright spots on a Los Angeles Lakers team that's not even making the play-in. Uh, one of the best surprises in the league this year, a second-round pick, uh, 35th overall in the 2021 NBA draft with Zion Williamson missing the whole year. Herbert Jones uh, has started 69 of his 78 appearance and has been an excellent defender as evidenced by his 1.7 steals and 0 0.8 blocks on the year. So two and a half, uh, what do they call them, uh, stocks, steals and blocks per game, shooting 47.6% from the field, nearly 10 points a game and four rebounds. Uh, but all in all, he's had 20 games with at least five excuse me three steals and five games with at least five, three blocks on the season 
Marcus Morris, Paul George has missed a lot of the season. Of course, Kawhi Leonard has missed the entire season. That has put more into the hands of Marcus Morris. Uh, he's averaging 15.4 points per game, 4.4 rebounds, uh, 2.1 assists, making nearly two threes a game, uh, shooting 87.2% from the charity stripe on 2.7 attempts per game. Uh, Marcus Morris on the season has 22 games of at least 20 points. And the center, Jared Vanderbilt, uh, 7 points, 8.5 rebounds per contest, starting 66 of his 73 appearances. Uh, so not much offensive game, but he's going to give you a great field goal percentage, 59.1% on 4.9 attempts per game. Uh, also a very good defender. It's evidenced by his 1.4 steals per game and 0.6 blocks. On uh, the season, he's had 22 games of double-digit rebounding totals and 14 games with at least three steals. So there's the second team. Now let's take a look at the first team. All mostly went undrafted. Our two guards, our backcourt, Jalen Brunson and Anthony Simons. The forwards, Desmond Bain, Desmond Bain and Fr Franz Wagner. And the center, veteran Kevin Love. So let's take a look at the first team performers and how they've done on the season, starting with Jalen Brunson. Uh, Brunson has mostly shared the backcourt uh, with Luka Doncic, uh, 60 of his 78 appearances have been starts. He's averaging 16.2 points, 4.8 assists, 3.9 rebounds, making 1.2 threes a game, shooting an excellent 50.2% from the field, has 7 double-doubles and 21 games of at least 20 points on the season. Next, we got Anthony Simons, and Anthony Simons, uh, definitely became an excellent fantasy performer after um, Damian Lillard went down with an injury. Uh, played 57 games on the year. Uh, missed a bunch of the end of the season. Has been out a few weeks now. 17.3 points, 3.9 assists, averages, averaging 3.1 threes made a game. Uh, but if we look at from when he be, in, was inserted into the starting lineup, when Damian Lillard was out with injury. So if we look from, if we go from his stats from January 3rd to his last game of March 5th, so 27 games, he averaged 23.4 points, 5.8 assists, and 4.4 threes made while shooting 86.6% from the free throw line. So if you had Anthony Simons during that time, uh, you definitely probably did fairly well. Uh, one of the forwards, we got Desmond Bain, uh, 30th overall pick in 2020, having an excellent sophomore season for the surprising Memphis Grizzlies. On the season, is making three threes a game while averaging 18.2 points, 4.4 rebounds, 2.7 assists, and 1.2 steals. This season, he has 35 games in which he has reached double digits in points, seven games with at least three steals and 12 games with at least five assists. Desmond Bain, obvious choice for this list. Uh, Franz Wagner, possibly a first team all rookie member. We shall see. He was the eighth pick in the 2021 NBA draft. Wagner has averages of 15.2 points, 4.5 rebounds, and 2.9 assists while playing nearly every game, 79 games, shooting 46.8% from the field, making over a three a game, 1.2, 86.3% free throw percentage on 2.8 attempts per game, nearly a steal per game, and he's had 17 games with at least 20 points. And the center, Kevin Love. Kevin Love uh, arguably could be sixth man of the year this season. Uh, probably won't win it. Tyler Hero is the likely choice. Uh, but he's only started four of his 73 games and not even playing half the game. Average of 22.6 minutes per game. But he's making two and a half threes per game. Shooting 84.4% from the charity stripe on 2.6 
uh, attempts per game. Averages of 13.4 points, 7.2 rebounds, and 2.2 assists. So Kevin Love has somewhat turned back the clock in more limited minutes. 14 games with at least 20 points. 17 games with double-digit rebounding totals. He has 14 double-doubles on the season. Kevin Love is the center on the first team. So again, your two teams... First team, all mostly went undrafted in fantasy basketball for 2021-2022. Jalen Brunson, Anthony Simons, Desmond Bain, Franz Wagner, and Kevin Love. Your second team is Monte Morris, Herbert Jones, Marcus Morris, and Jared Vanderbilt. Uh, This definitely was not an easy thing to do. Um, there was a lot of guys I could have included that I thought long and hard about, but uh, fortunately did not make the cut. Some of those names include Jay Crowder, Cameron Johnson, Devin Vassell, Dorian Finney-Smith, Davian Mitchell, Kevin Herter, Cameron Payne, Luke Kennard, Patrick Beverly, Max Struess, just to name a few. So let me know in the comments who are some guys maybe you picked up off the waiver wire that helped you to a league championship or at least get to the postseason. Uh, Are there anyone I missed? Let me know in the comments. Uh, But thank you for watching. Thank you. Thank you. Don't forget to subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend to subscribe. Appreciate all my new subscribers. Don't forget to like the video. Share the video. Hit the bell for notifications. I'm out.